I think that society as a whole needs to think about adolescence in a completely different way than it has traditionally viewed this period. I think historically, we think of adolescence as a time of trouble, as a time of difficulty. And I think that we, we think of young people that have broken the law and have gotten into the justice system as uh, beyond repair. And I think that the brain science suggests that's just wrong. I mean, we know that over 90% of people that commit serious crimes as juveniles do not go on to become chronic adult criminals. And that means that people are capable of change. And I think the brain science helps us understand why this is, because we now know that the brain remains malleable. The brain remains plastic for far longer than anybody had ever imagined. So we know that the early years of life is a time of tremendous plasticity in the brain. And that's why we've invested so much money in things like early childhood education and high quality childcare, and that's important to do. But what science has shown is that there's a second burst of brain plasticity that takes place during adolescence. And when the brain is plastic, when the brain is malleable, that means we have an opportunity. We have an opportunity to intervene to promote positive growth. I think the good news is that we're learning that the brain is still malleable, still changeable during the early 20s, which opens up all kinds of opportunities for uh, rehabilitating young people with the proper kinds of interventions. I think it's also important to, to have high expectations for young people and to expose them to challenge uh, and to novelty and to encouragement, in, uh, encouragement to strive a little more, encouragement to reach a little bit higher, and rather than see this as a time of, of restricting opportunities, I think probation officers need to recognize they have an important role to play in expanding opportunities for young people to develop in positive ways. I think we need probation departments to focus as much on, or even more so, on facilitating positive development, on helping these young people grow into successful, competent adults. So. I think for too long, lots of probation departments have focused only on preventing reoffending. Um, but that's not enough. I think in order to ensure the success of young people when they come out of the system, probation departments also have to focus on encouraging positive development and not just discouraging bad behavior. How we serve them ought to emphasize rehabilitation and a change that's going to help them integrate themselves back into the community when they're out of the system. Probation departments, like all institutions that serve young people in our society, need to follow what we call evidence-based practice. That, that is, we know some things about helping young people develop in positive directions. And the more that probation officers and probation chiefs understand what that science tells us, the better their prevention programs and their treatment programs are going to be, and the more success they're going to have in helping young people turn their lives around. I'm delighted to know that California is committed to rethinking its view of adolescence, to looking at adolescence as an age of opportunity, and to seeing that probation departments can embrace this new view of adolescence and change practices in a way that makes them consistent with scientific evidence about adolescent psychological and brain development. And I'm grateful to you in California for what you're doing to set an example for the rest of the country.